I spoke with Leroy Chow. He's a former NASA astronaut and commander of the International Space Station. And I asked him what's so important about sending people into space. Well, I think space really is that cliche, the final frontier, and people are interested in what's going on, uh, especially when you have humans involved, when you have human space flight, and you have people flying to space stations and talk about exploring, uh, going back and exploring the moon with humans and, and things like that. I think there's renewed interest in space, especially with all the commercial activity going on, uh, especially with companies like SpaceX and, and Blue Origin making plans to, to go out and do uh, build infrastructure and do exploration on their own as well. Very timely in celebrating this day with China's landing on the far side of the moon just a few months ago. What's been happening since there? There's also been a lot of international cooperation with that mission. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the China was uh, did a first, created a first by by sending a probe and a rover to the far side of the moon, something no other country has done before. Uh, very interesting experiment suite, including ground penetrating radar to study the interior structure of the far side of the moon to give us an idea of uh, some of the formation. You know the, how the, our solar system might have formed uh, billions of years ago. And uh, yeah, international cooperation. Some of the sensor suites and packages were were uh, included with international partners, and so uh, uh, this is really quite a step for China. So this would be a special uh, space day for them. And, and incidentally, just by coincidence, today, 14 years ago today, I landed back in the Kazakh desert after six and a half months aboard the International Space Station. <laughs> Congratulations. We always love hearing from you, um, Leroy. China's space station, another big goal. That is expected to be completed in 2022. Um, obviously, that's something everyone's looking forward to. What are you going to be watching for between now and then? I'll be looking for China to uh, recertify and start launching the Long March 4 rocket, which is necessary in order to bring the large elements of their station up. And so hopefully that will be resolved soon and we'll see the, the launch of the core module on time sometime in 2020. And then, as you said, completion of the station by 2022. I know that China has been talking to many different countries about international cooperation together, not only on research, but also on flying other countries' astronauts to their space station. So very exciting development. Um, International Space Station, of course, is still operating. According to current plan, it's going to be decommissioned sometime in the 2024-2025 range. Uh, my personal hope is that that does not happen, and it'll be pretty interesting to have two operational space stations uh, working, you know, in different orbits and in, in similar missions uh, simultaneously. Well, you mentioned your special space anniversary today. How important is it to have a special day to celebrate space? I mean, it's also about inspiring the young people here, right? Absolutely. I, I think that's one of the most important things of a, a space program is to inspire the next generation, both with unmanned probes like the one that China landed on the far side earlier this uh, this year, also with the human spaceflight program. People like to identify with the explorer that's that's actually there. And so I think if you have both and you have a special day to celebrate that, it's a nice way to focus on that and reemphasize to everyone, not only the young people, but to everyone, uh, you know, the wonders of space exploration and have them start dreaming about what they want to do with the rest of their lives. Leroy Chow, always great to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you.